thing? Yes. It's not a thing, it's a bulb. But hold, hold that for a minute, uh, nephew. Hold that. Yeah, I know, just hold it for a minute. Uh, Kay, I want to say um, I've got two highly spirited sisters. One of them, Susie Ballinger, did a, a postdoctoral, uh, did a, a doctorate in psychology. I don't know if you know her, but maybe not. Her, her brother, her, her husband has got Alzheimer's. And as we get older, you know, things happen. I've got two highly spirited young kids, They're not so young anymore. And Ali said the other day, my wife, we'd better give Anna a key to the house so that she can get in if one of us drops dead or something. And I said, no, we're not going to do that. I think we have to control our own lives as long as we can until, you know, until we we, we uh, able to look out, continue to look after ourselves. One thing you haven't mentioned uh, in, your, in your extremely interesting and enthusiastic and highly complex uh, uh, peroration, I have to call it that because it was, being a politician you're good at that, and that is this terrible business about, uh, about these companies that are ripping off old people, putting them in homes and, and they, they don't have a great deal of say in how they sell their house, who they sell it to. This is going on and it's a big national scandal. I hope you're addressing, you, you have been addressing that too. I know you're a bumblebee, I know you're pollinating all over the place, but that's another area rich for pollination, right? Very great response to the States, but I'm glad that Cormac is now calling. Yeah. Looking at the contracts, the contracts breach the law in, in some of them. Those three, four, those four people that were on TV the other night, you know, they came to me the moment they heard I got the job, before I was even employed. One of them worked with me at Monash, the woman in that group. Mm. And they had met at the, at the uh, place, which wasn't owned by Avio at the time. Avio, that's right. And it all changed while they were there. And they went, they'd been to separate lawyers to have their contracts looked at. They took it to a pro bono lawyer who looked at their three contracts, all checked by professional lawyers who should be off the record, you know, I mean, they should be struck off the record, and not off the record, I'd say it on the record, because they had not, and said, they'd said to them, oh, this is a typical contract, and sign it. Mm -hmm. And it breached the law in up to six ca mm -hmm. areas mm -hmm. in each of those contracts. Sheer exploitation has to be stopped. Now, uh, my nephew is going to hand me, thank you, Ahmed, one of the most beautiful uh, Baroque, no, it's not Baroque. It, it's it's very intricate, and it's Turkish, isn't it? Yeah, Central Anatolia, the Anatolian Plateau. I drove through it with my wife when we were going back to Tehran for a posting from London, and kids were throwing rocks at my Jaguar all the time. But it's a wonderful place, and if you if you get if you cop a smile from them, they can be quite friendly to you. So, Kay, I'd like to present this to you on behalf of Affinity for the wonderful work you're doing and for being here today, and thank you so much for your thoughtful presentation. Good. Um, thank you. Uh, thank you so much, my cousin, new cousin, uh, Gillian. And good afternoon, everyone, and my new extended families, uncles, cousins, and friends. And before uh, uh, preceding my speech, uh, I would like to, uh, Kay Patterson to present a small gift to our today's sponsors, uh, Mohamed Saral. He's my another cousin. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. As the executive director of Affinity Intercultural Foundation, uh, I would like to thank each and every one of you uh, for taking time out for your busy schedules to attend today's lectures, uh, lunchtime lecture. At Affinity, we aim to facilitate conversations that give, give rise to a wide range of voices and topics uh, across the community. This afternoon, we have had privilege, privilege of hearing the Age Discrimination Commissioner talk about an issue that we all can't avoid, no matter how hard we try aging. With this, uh, with this talk, I am sure we have gained an insight into how Australians' aging population are living, what the future holds for them, and the actions we can take to ensure that, ensure that people in old age are able to reach their full potential in every facet of their lives. I would like to sincerely thank Honorable Dr. Kay Patterson for sharing her insights with us, as well as my new cousin, uh, Gillian McPhee, 
for sharing her time and expertise in facilitating today's program. It was wonderful, deep speech, great perspective from your experience. I would like to call open my new, another cousin, Elizabeth Delaney, to present a gift to my new cousin, Gillian McPhee. Getting complex, yes. And the, yeah, my uncle shop, true, 180 King Street in Sydney. I think that we could sense from Gillian's introduction, and of course I had read her background, I prepared um, by looking at your um, website, Gillian. I, I think that if Kay had been lost for words, you would have had us all engaged anyway. So it has been, um, it's been a wonderful time hearing Kay speak, but also thank you very much for your en engaging us and uh, preparing for this. Thank you. Thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you, my cousin. And finally, um, I would like to thank our advisor board member, my, I think, great uncle, and uh, Jim Main, uh, who has been supporting us for many years. I would like to invite uh, my new cousin, Dr. Patterson, to present a small gift, like Turkish delight to my uncle Jim. Please, can I get? Um, before finishing the program, I would like to quickly invite you to some of Affinity's upcoming events. On Wednesday, 27 September, Professor Greg Barton from Deakin University will be presenting a talk on current global trends in Islamist extremism at the Australian Club. On Thursday, 28 September, the Honorable Senator Zed Sicilia will be presenting a lunchtime lecture on multicultural Australia, strong, united, successful. On Wednesday, 4 October, Catherine Byrne, the New South Wales Police Deputy Commissioner, will present a lunchtime lecture on the role of policing in our new security environment. On Wednesday, 25th, 25th October, we will be hosting a lunchtime lecture with Michael Carr, the Deputy Chief Executive and Chief Operating Officer from the Association of Independent Schools of New South Wales, who will be presenting on the topic of Independent schools making a difference. On Tuesday, 7 November morning, we will be hosting the Honorable David Elliott for a morning conversation in which he will be discussing veteran affairs. And last but not least, on Tuesday, 28 November, we will be hosting a lunchtime lecture with Alastair McEwen, the Disabilities Discrimination Commissioner, who will be discussing the topic of 25 years of disability discrimination law in Australia. We will be list listing all of our September, October, and November e events on our website. Please keep an eye out for them and RSVP if you are interested in attending. Again, a big thank you for joining us today, and I hope to see you again at our future events. Thank you. Thank you.